Okay, and today we're gonna do a, what are we tips and how to get tips and what are we doing? Tip, like musically tips and tricks. I'm like, okay, oh, I'll wait, you may say it. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Madeline and Samantha, and today's video is gonna be musically tips and tricks. Now I know musically is getting really really popular now, and on our musically account, we're getting a lot of questions on like, how do you do this? How do you do that? How do you get featured? So we're gonna be trying our best to answer those questions for you today. And if you don't follow us yet on Musically, be sure to follow us. It's Calio and Twins. So let's get on with the video. So our first tip when it comes to getting featured on Musically or making good Musicallys, I know you guys hear it a lot, but it's actually true. You have to be creative. You have to be unique because Musically is made up most of mostly of lip singers. So they yeah. mount the words to a song. So you need to be sure to differentiate yourself from everyone on Musical.ly. And just today, I was going through the feature um, newsfeed, and most of them got featured for comedies. And I noticed a lot of comedies get featured. So I think if you do a comedy, there's a higher chance. But also, if you make like another musical that's not a comedy, but it's really creative, then it's a good chance to get featured too. So our second tip is, I think we say this every time, like we get asked how to like get featured is to have good lighting because no one wants to watch a musical that's dark and you can't see the person in it. Wait, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when we're filming without light so you can see the difference of how lighting plays a very important role in good musicals. Okay, so this is what we look- whoa, we look like Oompa Loompas. <laughs> yeah, okay. But this is what we look like without our softbox lighting. And now this isn't our phone camera, but it's the same thing when you're filming musicals off of your phone. Off of your phone. Okay, so um, what we personally use- wait, let's turn the lights on before we continue talking. <laughs> So what we personally do when we film our musicals is we use softbox lighting and they're kind of like studio lights. We'll insert a picture so you can see what we're talking about. Yeah, but we like to film in the night when the room is completely dark and we just have the softbox light softbox lights on. Cause we find that um we get the quality of the camera increases mm -hmm. a lot and people can see you really clearly. So but if you don't have those lights, don't worry. Our window is great. So like what we mean by using windows is that you would stand in front of an open window when it's daytime outside. So you have the light shining through and just filming musically in front of that. It acts like a softbox light and it's free. I know. So the next tip we have is about movements. Now we film, I'd say, two different kinds of musicals when it comes to movements. Yeah. One would be was when our phone is just sitting on something and both of us are like doing hand actions. So when it comes to those kinds of musicals, you want to make sure that if you're doing with someone or if you're doing it by yourself, that you rehearse the actions before you film the musically so yeah. that you're not trying to come up with the actions while you're recording, then it looks very messy and it looks very unprepared. So yeah, it's also one of the biggest questions we get is if we rehearse our music release, and we do. We do like every single one. We, we like to film even though we're not ready, so then we can see what we need to improve on. And then when it comes to the second type of music release, which is the one where you hold it and you move around, we don't do that, that often. We don't do it often, yeah, but we sometimes do it. Um, you, we like to use a pop socket. Now, if you want to get two dollars off your pops, a pop socket, head on over to the link down in the description box and get two dollars off your pop socket. But they're really, really helpful because even when you're like not gripping your phone that well, the the way you move your phone, it's very steady when you move it. Musicallys. So yeah, when you're filming your musicallys, you want to make sure that you don't do any sudden movements, like because trust me. I get dizzy watching this kind of musical. So even because you gotta remember that yeah. musically will speed up your musicals on if you're on the fast setting. So especially if, if you're on the epic setting, it speeds up so much. So you want to keep that in mind and make sure that your movements are a tad bit smoother and slower. And we recommend using the fast setting, but that's just personally what we like. Another tip is use hashtags. Mm -hmm. A lot of people post musicals and they don't put anything in the description. Hashtags make it more discoverable by other people and musically. So for example, um, if you want a higher chance of getting featured, use the trending hashtags in the on the dis discover page on musically and also use the hashtags feature me, feature this, lip sync because um, those I think are official hashtags with musically yeah. that will increase your chances of getting featured. So don't be shy to add all those hashtags in, but make sure they're relevant. So don't like put um, snow day and if you're at like the beach. Cause that's and I've relevant. noticed like when there's a new trending hashtag that are really popular, musically tends to feature like a, a bunch, bunch, like in a one span of time. So when you see that trend coming up, you post your musically and use a hashtag and use a hashtag. Yeah. So that it can get spotted and hopefully get featured. So um, we mostly film musically that are horizontal like this, mm -hmm. but um, a lot of people ask how we film this way or like the move, yes. the moving one, the moving one. <laughs> I don't know how it's called. So I guess I'll film 
a musically and then see how it turns out and see if I can show you if it's decent. <laughs> She'll do it because she does more she does more of those types of stuff. So yeah, we'll let her teach you guys. I like this song. Can you can you like oh move? Just like check it. Usually I don't recommend, recommend filming on like a plain white wall because you don't really see the movements because everything is white. But only for the ones where you're holding it, right? Yeah. So. I see you contrasting background then you can see the movements more so yeah that's just okay. a little example of how we film that's, that's it for the video hopefully all of you found this video super helpful and if you did give this video a big thumbs up and also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a video with our parents related to musically like them trying to recreate or like do something with musically and we noticed you guys really like musically related videos so we're kind of thinking of more ideas of how we can incorporate musically into our videos. So if you guys have any musically or non-musically related video ideas for us to make, leave them down below in the comments because we love learning new ideas and maybe we'll choose yours to make one. So thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out all our social media right on the side here. And also don't forget to follow us on Musical.ly. Once again, it's Cali on Twins. We also post on Squared, which is a twin collab channel, which we post there every single Friday. So don't forget to check out our videos there too. The link will be down below. And we'll see all of you next time. Bye!